Hey, what's up guys? <clears throat> OLB, one lucky bullet here. And uh, wow. So uh, I'm at work and all of a sudden, uh, you know, I start getting some uh, notifications from my friends and they're like, hey, did, did you see the news? You know, Microsoft bought Bethesda and it's just like, no, I'm at work, you know? So, you know, immediately I jump on my other phone and, and I'm looking and I see it and I'm like, holy crap like that's huge like i don't think a lot of people realize how many studios um bethesda had under them but not just that but they bought zenimax which is the parent company of bethesda so they own all of it now but you know you think about it look at the ips they own now like just fallout just the Elder Scrolls, they're huge games. And granted, you know, sometimes they're not optimized right or they're buggy as shit or whatever, but it's still huge. You know, and then a, a question pops up and it's like, well, are these gonna be exclusive to Xbox now? I'm gonna be honest with you, and this is my opinion, I don't think so. I think there will be um, exclusive stuff, um, but I think the way they're gonna do this, every Bethesda game from now on is gonna be on Game Pass or you can pay $70 for it on the PlayStation. So you can get the Game Pass on your Xbox or PC and get it for free, or you can pay $70 on the PlayStation and get it, or the Switch or whatever. But when you think about that, that's it's like brilliant because, you know, Microsoft bought, um, you know, uh, Minecraft years ago for 2.5 billion and everybody was like, well, that was a stupid deal. Why would they do that? And now look at it, like they have made so much money off of that and it's still huge. And it's on all these other platforms, phones, you know, iOS, Android, Switch, you know, you name it, it's on it. And they make money off of that constantly and they don't have to do anything. And now you look at, just just look at what they just bought, you know, ZeniMax and they had the, the two exclusive games coming to PS5, that uh, Ghost Tokyo and Deathloop. They may be still, you know, under that that contract of well, they're still exclusive right now for PlayStation. Yeah, that's fine. But Microsoft's still gonna make money off of it now, so it's like okay. Well, for me, it's just it's insane. And when you you think about the amount of money that they just did, seven point five billion dollars. That's more than some countries' average capital. You know, <laughs> like it's insane. Like, I mean, it's great. You know, for gamers, um, you know, it's great if you're an Xbox gamer. I, you know, I play on all of them. I've said that before, but, you know, I, I do like it, you know, because, you know, it, it, it's it's pretty good. But I wanted to give you guys, you know, my thoughts on it because I, I thought this was huge. You know, like, what are your thoughts on it? Do you see, you know, Bethesda games becoming exclusive? Look at my guy back there. He's, he's just walking around. Uh, do you see Bethesda? Bethesda games become an exclusive just to Xbox or you know do you do you kind of agree with what I'm saying that they'll probably be you know still multi-platform but part of the game pass and you know it just kind of came out of nowhere you know like you know Sony locked up Final Fantasy 16 as an exclusive and it was just like Microsoft was like oh okay is this how we're gonna do it now all right well we'll just buy up this huge company everybody likes to say Xbox has no games well I mean, they got a shitload now. So, I mean, they've got everything. Doom, Wolfenstein, Prey, Elder Scrolls, Fallout, that Starlight or Starflight or whatever that game is coming out. Like, they've got literally so many studios and games now that it's it's unreal. And it's, it's, it's great, you know. At the same time, you know, you like to see these publishers be independent. But, you know, Microsoft they don't have a, a bad track record for studios nowhere near ea you know or hell even sony and if i'm being honest i mean sony's pretty notorious for buying studios and then closing them down not to the extent that ea is i mean sure would be nice if we ever got another dead space game but sure that won't happen um but yeah definitely let me know what your thoughts are um i'm i'm super interested to see what everybody's thinking about this because this is this is massive news, especially they couldn't have timed it any better. Tomorrow's the the, the pre-orders for the Xbox. 
So when you're when you hear this news that all these games now belong to Xbox, it's like I got to get an Xbox now. And I saw tons of people commenting that on Twitter and Facebook and everything. They're like, "Man, I love Sony, but I may have to get an Xbox." And it's like, "Well, hold off here, guys. Nobody's saying you got to buy an Xbox. You know, buy what you want to buy, play what you want to play, but at the same time, if you're an Xbox guy, it's freaking awesome for you. So, I mean, anyway, that was just my take on it. You know, I'm interested to see what else goes on, you know, the rest of the day. If any more huge news, I doubt there will be. I mean, the only the only other acquisition that's bigger than this in gaming was when Tencent bought that other company for like $8 billion or something, you know, but... Let's just hope the Xbox pre-orders tomorrow aren't as screwed up as Sony's. I don't think they will be. You know, I think I think they'll go off a lot better. Um, you know, I, for one, am buying a Series X, so I'm in for that. I've already got my PS5 pre-ordered, so I was... I'm not going to lie to you guys, I was lucky. Um, I was able to get one through Amazon, but then I also got the uh, invite from Sony to order directly from them and so I did and uh you know I'm not not one of these scalpers so I took uh I've got the other PlayStation 5 pre-ordered on Amazon I'm giving it to one of my friends um that was trying to to get a pre-order and couldn't get in so you know we, we you know it works out you know if we all would help each other like that with things like this instead of people being scalpers and selling them their pre-orders online for two two grand already um you know, it, it would probably make things a lot better. And don't even get me started on the R, RTX cards, the 3080s and stuff, where those things got immediately wiped out. That was ridiculous. But I don't think the Xbox will be that bad. You know, I think uh, 11 o'clock tomorrow, Eastern Time, we'll all be able to, you know, pretty much pick our, pick our vendor and, and get them from. I mean, you can literally go right on your Xbox already you know you will be tomorrow and just sign up for their little payment plan i've thought about doing that myself just to get a series x and just a monthly payment with the ultimate game pass included you actually end up saving like 50 bucks or something over the two years that you pay for it which you know that's that's pretty good you know um but you know anyway i kind of ran along there for a second i'm really interested to see what you guys think about it uh, the whole deal with the, you know, the pre-orders for PS5 and the Xbox, you know, what do you guys think about what happened there? What do you guys think about this Microsoft um, deal with buying Zenimax and all these IPs? You know, what do you, what do you, what do you guys think about all this? What do you, what else do you see coming? Because it's hard to tell because I don't think, I'm surprised they kept it as quiet as they did for so long. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, leave me a comment below hit me up on twitter instagram facebook you know hit that subscribe button if you feel like it if you don't no worries um but yeah thanks a lot guys for watching and uh i'll catch you on the next one